All right, so the only thing I did was reach down and plug it in. Or actually, I haven't even plugged it in yet, to be honest. All I did was reach down and uh, feed the wire through. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it actually says. Let's hit the power button. Let's zoom this in here, guys. Oops. Um, actually, I brought down my UPS, which I knew not to do. I have got no idea why I did that. Um, UPSs are not able to support a, a, a laser printer. The main reason being is that when they're spooling up right now, they're using so much energy um, that even just 15 amps of power isn't able to support that. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the main page. So let's go to settings and we're gonna try and get this thing set up on our network. So it looks like we can just do Wi-Fi direct or stick it on the network. So let's go ahead and set up Wi-Fi direct. Um, we're gonna set up. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let's go back. So that's not right. We need. To, we need to. Do, we do need to set up the wireless network first. So let's set up. Okay, that's all the detailed settings. We still need to connect to the wireless LAN first. Let's go to setup wizard. Switch network interface to wireless. Yes, yes, sir, ma'am. Um, what happened? So you can see there, there was a moment of um, non-response from it, which is strange. So let's push forward, see what it does. All right, there we go. So we're only seeing my wireless N network, which is fine. We don't really need wireless AC for a printer, but nonetheless, it would have been nice. So let's hit OK. All right, now I'm gonna shut you off for a second while I type in my password. All right, I just hit to save the password. Let's see what it does. Connected, we're on Wi-Fi. All right. Spooling up here. I'm not sure where it's gonna send out the paperwork. Let's find out here. All right, let's load some paper into the tray. I always wonder why paper companies use plastic. Looks like we're not gonna be able to hold all 250 sheets. Close that baby. Alright, what do we have? Looks like we've got a little test demo page here. It says wireless LAN connection is okay. It's got my configuration ID, my IP address, and then all the networks that I can see in the area. All right, let's let's test a let's test a copy. Let's make a copy here. Open this baby up. Stick a piece of paper into the corner. Click copy. Start. I 
that looks just as good as the original does, if you ask me. Looks just as good. A little bit darker, you know, but we're going to light that up and everything else, no problem. So, um, yep, there's the setup, guys. I mean, that was super easy. Um, let's actually test a print from the computer. All right, guys. Um, so, I just opened up a file that was an introduction to myself from my classes. Um, I spaced it out a lot just so we can do uh, two pieces of paper to see how fast it is or if it's even really truly capable of printing a duplex. Um, the printer is already here. Um, I did one mistake where the microphone wasn't working a second ago. I did nothing to install this. It's just automatically available on the network, which is really sweet. Um, I'm going to print the whole page and I'm going to print it on both sides. That way this should, it should automatically do it on its own. And uh, let's just quick print and see what happens. All right. It looks like it took about 11 seconds to print one page and sure enough, it actually looks really good. It did it on its own. It didn't mess up the paper too much. Sometimes there's smaller printers, when you do duplex, it'll be really, really curved. Usually this one is a little bit curved, but not as much as I've seen on smaller printers uh, or some similar printers, I should say. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, we connected to the web. We did duplex printing um, without even doing any setup on the computer side of things. Um, Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll try and get them answered for you.